Hello and welcome to OptiView's webinar on panoramic cameras. My name is Justin Bobbitt and I am one of the account managers here at OptiView. We have a few of our integrators that have RSVP'd and are still logging into the system. So let's take a few moments, take care of a few housekeeping items. During the duration of the webinar, your mics will be muted to allow for side conversations. If you notice your mic has not been muted or it becomes unmuted, please mute the mic as quickly as possible. Additionally, I will be sending a packet of information to your emails after the webinar, so there's no need to take notes. I will be providing the material. <clears throat> now that it appears most of our integrators have made their way in, we will go ahead into the webinar. Again, my name is Justin Bobbitt, and I am one of the account managers here at OptiView. Though your mics are muted, we do have account managers monitoring the chat on the side of your screen, so feel free to reach out with any questions and we will do our best to answer them promptly. If a question does require more time, we will follow up with emails as appropriate. Uh, and if you desire a private session webinar or have specific job designs for us to review, please drop us an email at sales at optiviewusa.com and we'll be able to work accordingly. A uh, quick overview for our new partners and integrators. OptiView is based in Jacksonville, Florida, and has been in operation for over 20 years. We house our inventory, in-house tech team, research and development, and sales and sales support within our 25,000 square foot facility, alongside our solar platform design teams and manufacturing facility. Here in Jacksonville, we have access to our coast-to-coast -coast dealer network and site design teams for rapid deployment of our solutions to your job sites. Today, we are going to be covering the 360-degree single sensor and 180-degree multi-sensor panoramic cameras. To the upper left of your screen, we have the 360-degree or pancake dome camera, and to the bottom we have the 180 degree multi-sensor panoramic cameras peeking out from both edges. Both cameras have HD cameras have HD over coax and IP versions, as well as built-in two-way audio capabilities with built-in infrared. As I will be mentioning this later, this is a good chance to introduce our solar deploy deployable platform that is running the panoramic camera here on the bottom slide. You can see its shadow in this picture and uh, with its 30 foot mass deployed, it's capturing this road and this construction site. Uh, we'll be showing you this in a live demonstration shortly and uh, describing uh, this solution. We will first be covering the 360 degree single sensor panoramic camera. This camera is a ground up redesigned of the fisheye of yesteryear with advanced analytic options and deployment arrangements. Here in the upper left, we have the 360 degree camera being broken out into eight smaller tiles for review. This 360 degree view in the center is what is being captured by the NVR DVR while its breakout is taking place on our hardware and software platform. Either by live manipulation or in playback, you can access these monitor views to visually patrol the scene. The camera's design and mounting is extremely flexible with standard ceiling mount allowing it for a top-down complete environment capture, wall mount for floor to ceiling coverage, uh, this is very popular at intersections of hallways and where crowd control needs monitoring. Uh, and the final orientation or surface mount orientation allows for a unique solution to somewhat of a complex problem. In finance and high-end retail, many of our integrators' clients needed a solution to capture a complete counter view, uh, free of obstructions from above or intentional clothing, hiding the identification from standard top-down style surveillance systems. Uh, the surface mounted 360 degree camera allows for live playback uh, and live view manipulation at countertop level as if you were standing at the counter without missing a detail. 
don't be alarmed with all the VMS monitor views. Uh, we found our integrator clients wanted to see each site differently, and each team has their own preferences. We give you these monitor views to allow for your customization, and we'll be showing you some of these views momentarily. Uh, this upper left view, just to give you an example, is the full 360 degree view without the breakout. That would be showing you just this center cell, uh, whereas these other views would be manipulations of this center view. <clears throat> the technology built into the 360 degree single sensor panoramic camera fills a wide range of applications and with the advanced analytics, the capabilities of the camera truly separate the uh, technology from old fisheye cameras of the past. Here on the left, we have our 360 degree camera running a heat map, but this is not thermal by any means. Uh, what this camera is doing is converting pixel movement into relative temperature, higher movement being higher temperature and lower movement being cooler. Uh, here we have our main counter at OptiView where we work with our integrators on site designs, uh, as well as an entryway to our warehouse and some demonstration platforms to the side wall here. This heat map is telling us that the main counter has the most pixels moving most frequently, while the demonstration area has a little less movement in our window, where some of our integrators like to watch the solar platforms being assembled, has some heat assigned to it while people stand and watch. You can also see a little spot in the center of the room on the floor where people like to stand and look up at the pancake, wondering what it is. Uh, this heat map technology has become a mainstay in retail and gaming, uh, as well as its crowd control applications. Uh, in retail, our integrator customer, our integrators' customers are able to identify which retail displays holds the attention of the customer uh, and which display needs attention uh, or, or to be moved. Uh, in our casino projects, we've helped establishment owners identify which games are offering a return on their investment uh, while identifying potential lost profit with poor placement or undesirable game stations. Municipalities often use this heat map application in combination with our deployable solutions, placing them at intersections to study traffic flow or general pedestrian movement. Our center capture here is from the 360 being wall mounted uh, in this installation to capture the OptiView customer parking lot. Uh, here we have captured the entire parking lot floor to ceiling uh, and wall to wall with one camera solution, simplifying cost and installation time. The uh, right capture here in the, uh, is the same welcome area uh, without the heat mapping overlay, highlighting the complete room coverage from a single camera. This nine cell breakout highlights uh, the common VMS views utilized with the 360 degree camera. Uh, what is being recorded by the NVR and DVR is this center cell, uh, while live manipulation allows for the camera to be broken out into these different views. Uh, whether you are in playback, live, uh, using our free VMS software or the mobile app, you can view the room as if you are standing on site and responding in real time. The single sensor 360 degree cameras come in three variants, uh, an HD over coax and two IP versions. The HD over coax uh, has a single eight megapixel 2.5 millimeter fisheye lens and is analog HD switchable. Uh, note the field of view is slightly reduced here at the top and bottom, uh, which I'll show you here in a bit, but this is due to the limitations in the HD over coax technology. Uh, we can only put so much data through a coax line and we've already added two-way audio and PTZ control, PTZ control to our OptiView line of DVRs and NVRs. Uh, so the 40 degrees at the top and bottom is a small price to pay uh, for the extra bandwidth going through the coax. The IP variants also come in a 12 megapixel and 6 megapixel version with a full 360 degree capture. Uh, 
and the addition of a micro SD card slot. This allows the camera to accomplish standalone recording uh, for unique applications where the NVR DVR isn't necessary or a redundancy for a recorder to provide an extra backup of footage. Uh, you will notice the slightly increased infrared range on the HD over coax uh, provided by its smaller capture area. Uh, each camera has the built-in audio capability and in infrared lighting, uh, but the HD over coax variant has a slightly increased infrared range. Uh, this is the front view of our multi-sensor panoramic bullet camera. Uh, this is another huge step forward in panoramic technology. Uh, with three 2 megapixel lenses being stitched together, this camera can individually compensate for differences in lighting across an area. Uh, the green lines in the presentation are just for demonstration purposes to show you where the lenses would be stitching the image together, uh, but those green lines will not be visible in the final capture. Uh, or in replay. We will be demonstrating this compensation, uh, but imagine a welder here on the right side of the scene uh, with equipment being moved here on the left side of uh, the scene. Using traditional panoramic capture technology, the arc of the welder's torch uh, will be seen by the camera and overexpose the entire scene. Using our panoramic camera technology, the right lens here will compensate for the elders or the welder's arc, while the center and left lens will remain unmodified, if only compensating minimally from reflections in the scene instead of all three lenses compensating as one. Here we have our 360 degree camera mounted at the top of one of our solar deployments we spoke of earlier. Uh, this is a great example of just how much you can capture using a single capture device. Uh, this is a newly graded job site soon to be developed, and you can see just how much of the area we capture while still allowing for detail to be brought out of the scene. We've digitally zoomed in on a vehicle, uh, some equipment, and a pedestrian to highlight identifiable features uh, that are still provided while capturing the job site. This top installation is on the 30-foot mast, but retracted to capture the entrance to this construction site. This makes viewing vehicles or equipment movement across the site simply all in a single view. Uh, the lower picture is of the deployment example com commonly used by our municipalities to monitor the flow of traffic or entrances and exits to secure facilities. Uh, this arrangement shows how one camera can cover both lanes of traffic in and out of a facility without losing any of the peripheral data. Here we have an installation at the top that was a unique solution for the shipping company. Uh, the company needed to see what drivers from what carriers were arriving on time and how long unloading took for streamlining their operations. Uh, we deployed a pole-mounted enclosure uh, with the panoramic camera and network support devices to allow full capture and playback in the building. Uh, and below, you can actually see the mast of one of our uh, solar deployments uh, for this deployment on a municipality. Uh, this public park uh, needed after hours monitoring as well as remote viewing to maintain oversight. Uh, we were able to capture all three baseball diamonds with one camera and allow for remote access with our 4G wireless package. This construction site above uh, had what they believe to be a complex problem that many construction sites have, uh, but with OptiView's panoramics offered a, a simple solution. With one camera, we are able to monitor the equipment on site as well as any traffic coming and going while utilizing our virtual tripwire detection to secure the site. Along the bottom of the fence, we digitally draw a line, and if any pixels move across the line, a pre-programmed response is activated. This can notify the predetermined site security or foreman uh, while allowing for motion along the roadway without false notifications. Uh, this can only be achieved using this virtual tripwire technology in concert with our panoramic and recording solutions.
Those of you that have toured uh, our facility might recognize the bottom picture as the front customer entrance uh, here to the OptiView parking lot. We utilize the same virtual tripwire technology uh, along the bottom of this fence to allow for normal traffic movement monitoring while notifying our team if something crosses this virtual boundary. This multiple lens array allows for compensation across each scene, as described earlier, uh, and this is a perfect place to display the technology compensating for brightness. On top, we have a camera set to stay in full color mode without infrareds. Uh, the bottom, we have allowed the camera to manage its infrared array. Uh, we see up top a well-lit street with a spotlight to the left and a building lit to the right. Across the entire image, each lens is compensating for its own capture scene and stitching the image together seamlessly. Uh, the bottom picture is a staff favorite here at OptiView. Uh, in the left third of the image, you will see a firework being shot into the sky uh, and the lens slightly compensating for this brightness change, uh, while the center and right lenses are remaining unadjusted with stable light input. Again, only a possibility uh, with the multi-lens panoramic cameras. Here are the two variants of the panoramic cameras, our IP180P and our HD180PB. Both cameras are two-way audio capable, have built-in infrared. Uh, the IP180P has 98 feet of infrared uh, alongside the micro SD card slot that allows for edge recording or standalone applications, as well as any recording redundancies that might be required by a client. Uh, the HD180PB has the same three two megapixel sensors as the IP variant uh, and has a 65 foot infrared range, uh, whereas the IP has a 98 foot infrared range. One large difference to note of these two cameras can be seen from the pigtails uh, coming off the back of both cameras. The IP180PB has a single networking connection alongside the audio and power connections. Uh, the HD180PB has four BNC connections. Uh, the red BNC outputs all three lenses stitched together into one output uh, using only one uh, BNC input on your device to display the full panoramic scene. Uh, the three other other BNCs output individual lenses, allowing for three screens separately monitoring the area if you have three additional BNCs to, to use, utilize for each connection. Uh, this compatibility chart is a lot to take in, but fear not, I will be including a copy of this chart in your information packet. Uh, the large takeaways are the 360 degree view, trip wire, and intrusion detection are fully capable uh, or co fully compatible with all of our DVRs and NVRs. The heat mapping technology is only available with the NVR solutions. And one small note that the software dwarp is processor heavy, uh, so the unit Units listed here are the NVRs and DVRs with enough power uh, to process this de-warping technology. Um, we will now be able to show you the live demonstration of our 360 and 180 degree panoramic cameras. Uh, we have the VMS and our mobile app to show you along with various manipulation methods included in our platform. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to type them into the chat on the side of your screen or email us at sales at optiviewusa.com and one of your account managers will get back to you promptly. Uh, there will be links to the Apple and Android uh, mobile apps as well as the software VMS all free and license free uh, and that will be included with the email provided after this presentation. And here, uh, to begin the demonstration, we see the two uh, software systems, the Windows and Mac-based OptiView VMS, 
and the iOS and Android mobile platform. Uh, this mobile platform is currently being run through an emulator, so do excuse some of the issues that I'll uh, call to your attention. Uh, the actual version on the iOS and Android uh, devices is much more functional. Um, here in our OptiView VMS, for those of you that are not familiar with it, we have our general configuration set up here at the bottom, uh, our, some of our analytics and playback offered here in the middle, and our live view manipulation, access control, and some of our specialized functions here at the top. Um, I'm go going to go to live view, and then here in view, I have saved the 360 degree panoramic demonstration. Uh, we have the IP6F and IP12F cameras, the HD PAD 360, the high def uh, HD over coax camera, and and the 180 degree panorama. For the IP6F, uh, we have this here in the warehouse. Uh, the capture being recorded by the NVR and DVR in each of these uh, scenarios is what you see here on the screen. Um, and what we can do is we can actually manipulate this very easily. Uh, we'll use the IP12F in the uh, customer waiting area. We've told the camera that its fisheye installation mode is uh, top-down ceiling mount style. Here in the views, here is where we really get into customizing a solution for you. We have ways to manipulate and break out this video in any way that really you see fit. Here is our one of our most popular views. It uh, just essentially breaks the room into two halves and shows you 180 degrees from each direction as if you're standing in the room. But if you want to concentrate on uh, more of the general area while still maintaining controls over specific areas, here's a view where the 360 is broken out in each of these panels actually allows you to slide and de-warp the image as you see fit. Uh, this way, uh, if your team wants to see anything on the screen, uh, what is being recorded across the entire NVR and DVR is not being manipulated and changed through playback or in live view, you're able to de-warp these views. And I'll show you if you want to get back to the full 360 view, you just access this full 360 to view degree view fisheye, uh, and you can even break it into the full nine panel. Now, what's interesting about this here, I've already got this demonstration set up. Say uh, your team is interested in this counter here and what is happening at this counter. Uh, in a typical installation of a camera system, if your team has decided to function or zoom in just on this area, you've lost what's behind it. With this 360 degree technology, even if your entire team is looking at this cabinet, the full 360 degree view is being recorded in playback and for recording purposes. Uh, you are not losing anything. Uh, these breakouts are just for you to be able to monitor your area the way you see fit. Now we see here in the IP6F in the warehouse, uh, same functionality. Uh, we've told it that it is a ceiling mount and we're able to now break this out into the two views. Uh, here we see the Armalogix uh, deployments that we uh, typically have out at our construction sites with our solar solutions. Um, and here is the view of the warehouse from both directions, uh, not missing any of the content and able to respond to an area as if you are standing there. Again, still able to manipulate uh, in the 360 degrees and change to just what you need to see at the moment while still maintaining your full 360 degree recording. Now for the HD PAD 360, you will notice the top and bottom are slightly cut off. That is the 40 degree reduced uh, capture on the top and bottom. Uh, what this, uh, this is just an inherent restriction in the HD over coax bandwidth. Uh, it'll be a little bit more obvious how that de-warping actually plays out uh, in the mobile app. We have some special features for the mobile app, but I do want to show you uh, the different technologies that you're able, you're still able to function uh, with the cells and look just at what you need to see. Uh, this cellular technology, uh, or not cellular as in phones, but uh, the actual cell manipulation uh, can be done right here within the VMS uh, or in the mobile app. Uh, in this breakout though, uh, you will notice the top and bottom slightly reduced by the HD over coax. 
And here we have our 180 degree panoramic camera uh, that is in the customer parking lot. Uh, you can see here uh, it is a fairly shady, uh, cloudy day, so the compensation really has uh, no need to take effect at the moment. Uh, but especially in the early morning or late afternoon, we have the sun right here that essentially has this left lens compensating for the sun while the center and right lenses uh, maintain their full view that are uncompensated. Um, and just as uh, the examples that we showed in the slide demonstration. And now I will show you, this is our mobile app. Uh, for those of you that have used it, again, this is iOS and Android compatible. Uh, and we, you do see here the access control system integration that we have added to our control systems so that you're able to integrate your CCTV and access control systems into one uh, solution. We're gonna select camera here. Give this just a second. And I'm actually going to do a standard orientation so that you'll be able to see uh, as if you were just holding your phone upright. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is go to my favorites and select Pano, Pano Webinar, uh, and this will connect. Again, some of the functionality of this app uh, through this emulator are a little bit compromised, uh, but for what we really want to show off, I, I definitely want you to see some of the functions that you really only get from this uh, um, mobile application. So for the HDPAD, uh, the IP12F, sorry, I, I misspoke, for the IP12F in the uh, customer waiting area, here what I'm going to do is we see here at the bottom there's an option to de-warp the image. Now what this allows me to do now that I've de-warped it is I can now live pull down as if on with my finger and a thumb just pulling down on the screen you're then able to stand in the area and respond as if you are in the room if you take your thumb and push up you will de-warp the image and you can turn off the de-warping to get your full 360 view uh, maintained if we want to go back to the full breakout the same functionality for the ip6f that is in the warehouse uh, you click the de-warp button and you are able to stand right in the warehouse respond live and never lose in playback or in live view the ability to manipulate the image push out on the image and then click this to remove the de-warp I do want to show you for the HDPA D360, the same dewarp applies. You will notice it's a little bit more obvious as to the cutoff at the top and the bottom, and I will change to its portrait mode to show you this. So as I dewarp this image, again, uh, a lot of this resolution issue is with the emulator, uh, but you'll see as I pull in, the top and bottom of this 360 are reduced by essentially 40 degrees per side. Uh, this camera is very highly utilized in the hallway application I spoke of earlier. Uh, essentially, you can cover the hallway from complete left to right, uh, as well as an intersecting hallway here in front, uh, while using one camera as a solution. Uh, but again, the de-warping works just as well, uh, and you're able to select its orientation so that you're able to much better control how you're de-warping this image. And for the uh, panoramic camera, the panoramic uh, in the emulator does not properly stretch, uh, or it's actually overstretched. It doesn't add the uh, widescreen bars that you would see in this uh, VMS demonstration here. Uh, but again, this is just a limitation of the emulator. Uh, you're still able to access not only normal cameras, HD over coax and IP, 360 and panoramic 180 degree cameras directly from the VMS. And this completes the demonstration of our OptiView VMS and our mobile VMS app. Uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to our account managers again at uh, sales at OptiViewUSA.com. Feel free to utilize the chat function on the right side of the screen. Uh, the account managers are there and waiting uh, to answer any questions that they're able to answer in the immediate. Uh, and my name, one more time, is Justin Bobbitt. I'm one of the account managers here at OptiView. Uh, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for taking the time to meet with us and I uh, hope you have a wonderful day.